on a giggle streak right now because <laughs> I'm being pretty much roasted uh, about our next topic, which we're just going to jump into because I know, <laughs> Caboose, you are super oh, excited my God. <laughs> to be talking about UB Forward. Obviously, uh, UB Forward is this new digital initiative that Ubisoft created. I think it was just this year. They've mm -hmm. had two or three now um so caboose what's the word what's the word on the street of you be forward uh is there a word on the street oh about my anything? god it, oh my was god was anybody talking about it uh okay so let's break it down let's break down a couple of things there is there we got far cry vr nobody cares we got a uh, division two something's happening for that nobody cares uh we got <laughs> okay i'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> there's a this couple of minor guy. announcements there was a couple of minor announcements. Um, Far Cry coming to, like, there's going to be a VR for Far Cry, which is pretty cool. Um, there's a new, like, expansion, I think, coming, or a new mode mm -hmm. coming for the Division 2 called The Summit, uh, which that's that's interesting. Then there was this Immortals Phoenix Rising. I know there was a full presentation. A lot of people were talking about this game. I don't know enough about this game, but it looked pretty interesting. Um, and then I feel, well, okay, before we get to probably what is technically the biggest announcement of the UB Forward, there was also the talk of a new Scott Pilgrim game, which is awesome. I'm actually genuinely excited about that, which is amazing. Um, Scott, and then you, Aiden, sorry to interject. Sure. Obviously, Caboose, you've played Scott Pilgrim. Alex, Steve, did you guys play the previous Scott Pilgrim game? Yes, no, I, I loved the it. Movie. The movie is awesome too. Yeah, the movie is amazing. Well, um, Alex, first or the game play, first? Play the game. I would say movie first, obviously. Uh, books first, movie second, game third, but all great. You need to play that game. Which came first? Um, first comics. one. Comics. Yeah. All the comics. Yeah. Right, okay, that makes yeah. sense. Uh, yeah, no, it's an awesome world, and the game looks like it's a lot of fun, very faithful to like what the original game was, uh, mm -hmm. which is great. Uh, and then Aiden Pierce who nobody probably knows about it. the original <laughs> protagonist oh of the first Watch Dogs game is coming <laughs> to Watch Dogs Legion. Um, and then there was something else revealed, some other game called Riders Republic. Uh, but yeah, so the biggest announcement was um, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time is getting <laughs> a remake and it was revealed for the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. Let's go. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, they're next. It's for next gen. Look, OK, I'm just excited for Prince oh. of Persia. Um, I would look, OK, I know how the trailer looks. Don't get me wrong. Looks but the bad. reason why <laughs> I'm excited for Prince of Persia, because um i've played the original as i'm sure aaron yeah. steve you guys did as well and i spent so much time with that game i thought it was a really game really good game a lot of people thought it was a really good game in the industry rated really high um and i'm just excited that they're talking about prince of persia again sure because if they're talking about prince of persia and doing these re remastered or remakes sorry um we could possibly be expecting that they may be developing a Prince of Persia game. I, I, if they are, I hope it looks no, much and, better than you know whatever what? this I, remake is. I think they know that there's the fan base of Prince of Persia. They know that that's out there. They need to yeah. know that their fan base of Prince of Persia are still playing games, would still play a Prince of Persia game. That's what I think this yeah. remake is about. It's mm -hmm. establishing how the game, just as a remake, will do. Um, could they have done a little better? Okay, sure, yeah. Okay, I, I get what you're saying with the graphics. I get it. But I'm just happy that there's a whisper of it because I'm just now it's making my hopes and dreams that much closer. Sure. I get your point. You, I, I get what you're saying because yes, now they're at least they're talking about Prince of Persia again. This this increases the opportunity or the chance of a new Prince of Persia game to actually happen. But that being said, I don't know if anyone saw a couple of weeks or maybe months back when that there was that concept for a new Prince of Persia game that was canceled yeah. that leaked online. That looks better than the Prince of Persia Sands of Time remake. This <laughs> The problem here, um, and you really can't blame Capcom for this, is that they set the bar for what a remake should be. Mm -hmm. You look at Resident Evil 2 remake, Resident Evil 3 remake, in comparison to the games that they're being remade, 
and it is a next gen, yeah. brand new looking game. Prince Here, of Persia: Sands of Time remake looks like it was released ten years ago. Yeah, on the on the 360 and the PS3. It's and I'll you know what? I'll let the top comment in the highly disliked <laughs> YouTube video of the trailer do the talk <laughs> from this commenter who said, "Ha ha! It was a nice joke, Ubisoft. Now share the real trailer." <laughs> That's probably the best way to describe this. I like. I, there's there's still a little yeah. more time to launch, but like how how is yeah. okay, how is this it? what they wanted to show? Wait, yeah, I like this it? comment. Oh, it's which one? It just says we kept the graphics for nostalgia. You stop, <laughs> probably. Stop probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Seriously, that's. Uh, I, I, get, I get it. I'm just really excited and completely biased on this position because I'm a huge fan of Prince Persia. Mm -hmm. So, like, um, biased right here, right? I I just want anything Prince of Persia right now. Uh, I fair. do think I do think though, or I'm gonna ask you. If this game were to release on a subscription service you already have, Game Pass, mm -hmm. would you play it? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And I, I think that's I all they it. need. I think that's but, all they need. But if you want people to like really be buzzing about a new Prince of Persia game, they they like for and instance, it's not you look a at new look at Persia game. It, it's, but no, but that's not that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Look at look at Resident Evil. Look at the remakes. Look at Resident Evil Two remake, saying, Resident Evil Three remake. Like, people I, play those and they're like. Let's get a new Resident Evil game. Come on, give it to me. And then when they announce Resident yeah. Evil Village, it's like, yes, new Resident Evil yeah. game. And you're, I feel like if they announce a new Prince of Persia game, unless it looks amazing, you're not going to go into that announcement with the same level of momentum and hype that you did for something like Resident Evil 8. You're you know? right. You're right. You're right. And I, I do feel like we're we're a bit spoiled in what we expect of a remake or a remastered um, because of Resident Evil, um, mm -hmm. because of even what Square Enix did with FF7, yep. right? Um, exactly. But maybe, yep. And that's your point, right? Maybe that's the level that now companies have to go at when they are doing these things for fan service, for nostalgia. If, if you're going to do it, then do it properly. And yeah. you do bring up a really great point. I also want to talk about the fact that there was no beyond good and evil anything in these last Ubisoft forwards. And that game was supposed to be this massive, massive game that Ubisoft is kind of bringing back for the nostalgia, the cult classic yeah. that the original was. And we have not seen it yet. And I am dying inside. I want to see more of that game. And then once again, another big Ubisoft presentation where they're like, hey, we're going to put Sam Fisher in literally everything <laughs> but a new Splinter Cell game. You know? That gets me so fired up. Like, it's, I saw it's, you. You were shaking in your chair uh, right now. You were <laughs> like, I, I, I swear, I, like, it's not even hyperbole. If you go back to, I would say, any real like major Ubisoft game in the last three or four years, there's a Sam Fisher Easter egg in there. <laughs> the the carrot at the end of the stick with Splinter Cell and Sam Fisher has to stop. It's getting too much. <laughs> and and yeah. to be fair, like at least we got Prince of Persia, so that's one out of the gate. We we need something to Splinter Cell soon. Yeah, but even but we even need felt, a like I don't want to game a game. Yeah. A yes, Splinter I don't want to game. I don't want to go back and harp on Prince of Persia again too much but like can you leave it alone caboose but like can but you like you, you know you know you're mentioning like oh this isn't for a, a new audience it should be this should be mm -hmm. for some people the introduction to prince of persia because again if they're going to announce a new game they, this should be the like hey this is what this game is this is what mm -hmm. it's all about we've made this before here's the remake and i'm not i'm not about telling developers like hey what you're doing is terrible i'm not about telling developers like work harder or anything like, like that's not what i'm trying to like evoke but what i'm trying to say is if if you if you weren't ready to reveal this if it, if you because i have to believe that nobody at ubisoft was fully confident in showcasing that trailer for the prince of persia remake so if that's the case if there's even a shred of a doubt delay it and take your time yeah. on it until you know you're ready to unveil it hell if it's coming out in in 2021 Push it halfway into the year and just release it on next gen. Make it a next gen game. Utilize the power of those SSDs. Say, hey, yeah. this is the first remake coming to the next gen consoles. You know, mm -hmm. that, there's there's a lot that they could have done here. Um, and I feel like it's it's unfortunate. I feel bad for the developers because of the public response. And now, even if they improve it and they make it look good by the time that it comes out, this first unveiling 
is the impression that everyone has about this Prince of Persia remake. Actually, I, I, I see what Camille's saying. I, like, I think I, I, I get what you're saying. Like, maybe uh, this remake is coming out to, like, like what you're saying, maybe there is going to be a new game coming out, like, for the next gen. And so this yeah. is kind of just seeing how people are responding to it. I mean, yes, it's negative, but people are still like, oh, yeah, Prince of Persia, like, I really like that game. I would definitely play a a, a better version of this. You know, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I feel like maybe that is what they're kind of going for. I mean, if they could do reverse it, reverse like, marketing or something, yeah. Well, it's like you know when Dark Souls came out on the Nintendo Switch, and then people were saying like it was going to actually be like super upgraded, and then it was like nothing, mm -hmm. nothing great at all. Maybe that's this is kind of like what it's what it is, and they're just like just putting it on there for the sake of putting it on there. Yeah. Well, let's talk about just briefly, because um, Caboose, you opened up by saying another Ubisoft forward, barely any news. Was there any news? You know, questioning that. I think mm -hmm. Ubisoft, what they've been doing with forward, they've been taking a very Nintendo direct approach to it, where they're not having their huge titles necessarily carry every uh, digital event. It's just lots of small news. The question is whether that's a good approach for a studio like Ubisoft um, that, yes, has all these smaller games, but that does, does that warrant then a digital, um, you know, a digital video every week, month? Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like, especially with this one, with this Ubisoft forward or, and, and the last one, like with the kind of severe lack of, actual news at least the last one like they were unveiling assassin's creed valhalla and mm -hmm. you know some more stuff for watchdogs legion so there was stuff there that it's like yes those games are announced but we're seeing some new things you know mm -hmm. with this one i don't know it just it just felt like there really wasn't much that really happened through the majority of the ub forward so it's like yeah okay it's cool you keep in the public interest you're still talking about your stuff and what's going on with your with your games and then, of course, they had the big announcement of Prince of Persia. But until you're ready to really blow the roof off the place, I feel like just hold off. You know, mm, look at what PlayStation true. or Xbox are doing with their showcases. Once they know, okay, we have a lineup of stuff to show, then they do the big showcase. I'm not saying that Ubisoft needs to be working on the level of PlayStation or Microsoft, but they definitely need to bring a little more in their arsenal for the next one. And I wouldn't mind if we got to wait a little more time until that next one. So you said they opened up last time with Assassin's Creed and Watch Dog Legions. Those are their biggest titles. Yeah. Right? Nintendo doesn't always open up with like the next Mario title or the Zelda title, you know, and they have all these small indie uh, directs as well, right? So yeah. I feel like what you're kind of saying is then maybe Ubisoft's forward shouldn't necessarily be about all the smaller titles. Well, no, maybe you should just like prime people for that, right? Like when Nintendo does a mini direct, they're like, hey, this is a mini direct. We're not announcing anything crazy here. Do people Don't even listen that. to that though? I know, no. it's true. Still people <laughs> get upset about stuff like that, but at least you can like, be like, hey, well, we told you nothing was gonna happen, you know? Yeah. yeah um, that's true. so I, I don't know. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna harp on it too much. They clearly had like news they wanted to show. It just it wasn't the best showing of the of that news. Yeah, I think it was it was pretty clear just by what they opened and closed with, uh, that those two games being Immortals Phoenix Rising and then Riders Republic, those were supposed to be the two games. I think it's just public perception that those aren't established franchises that people right. walked away from that ubisoft or be like oh okay well we didn't get a uh assassin's creed valhalla level of uh reveal but in ubisoft's eyes those were those games for them yeah they yeah. were really stoked on immortals phoenix rising because they were even teasing it before um you know uh renaming it from gods and monsters and and then rise republic which by all means uh i, I feel like that's just steep too but then they just renamed it. Um, <laughs> so I, I feel like they're, they, mm -hmm. they are trying to push those two games as being their front front runners in this Ubisoft forward. It just so happened that everyone walked away being like, okay, well, Prince of Persia didn't really knock my socks off. And yeah. yeah. We've seen Watch Dog Legion again. Uh, yeah, already. So seeing it again does, doesn't really do much for me. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, I just want to be stoked on some beyond good and evil news. So hopefully in the next Ubisoft forward, whenever that is, we will get that um, and it will look good.